another stitch. For those that don't know me, my name is Connie, and if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. And if you are new, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how you found out about my channel, and let me know a little bit about yourself so I can start to get to know you better. Well, I decided to film a fourth video today. So this video will probably upload on Saturday. Like I said, three of the videos that I filmed, I, I'm scheduling as I get them uploaded to YouTube. And this is one that's going to be scheduled. So anyway, when I did that video that I have, please read in the title. And if you haven't watched that video... I do recommend that you watch it. It explains where I've been at, what's been going on, and what that means for my channel moving forward. But I realized, like, I, there were things that I wanted to talk to that I forgot to mention in that video. But in the same aspect, it was a, lo a long video and it might be a good thing that I forgot because I'm trying to break my videos down where they're not like unbearable long, you know. So one thing I want to want to tell y'all about that happened since I've been away from YouTube was we have this tree in our front yard and about half of it fell and the, the weird thing is we didn't even hear it and fortunately it fell in the direction of the road and not on the house so being it was a weekend we had to call the police and tell them what happened so they could get the city to come out and remove the tree from the road. And luckily, they actually even removed the port that was in our yard. Because at first, they said that they could only remove the port in the road because the city is responsible for the roads, but we would be responsible for moving what was in our yard. So, that was an experience. <laughs> and I, I do, um, I want to update y'all too on what's been going on with Frank the Biscuit. Um, he also switched doctors along with me. He had his first appointment yesterday. And basically, when it comes to especially his back, he's wanting to get Frank's medical records so he can see what all is going on with Frank's back before he decides what course of action he's going to take. But one thing he did do was Frank tends to take ibuprofen for his back. And he finds that that seems to work more for his back than like other medications that have been tried. So the doctor wrote him a prescription for a prescription strength ibuprofen. And this stuff is 800 milligrams. <laughs> So I'm kind of curious how that's going to work for him. And then, basically with Frank's legs, now I think he wants to look at the records to do with that too. Um, but basically, the home health care nurse, that's fixing to come to an end. And his nurse basically advised him 
that he needs wound care. And I know there was one time, I think this was before the home health care, the previous doctor was wanting to send him to Lafayette for it. And his cardiologist was talking about referring him, but I think he wants to check some things out with Frank's legs to do some ultrasounds. But he was talking about how there's a place right here in town in the hospital. Don't know why he wasn't referred there. And it's not an insurance thing. But when he saw the new doctor, he did sit, he did, um, I believe, do the referral for now. So we should be hearing from that soon. So anyway, and then other than that, um, now for a while there, Frank's blood pressure was elevated, but it was normal on his visit. So, or it might not have been that, I think it was normal, or it might have been like slightly above normal. Um, he forgot to mention about his blood sugar, though. Because for a while there, his blood sugar was, was you know, kind of about the range mine was running. But like, his last blood sugar that we took, I think it was like 131. So, he seems to be, like, more in the pre-diabetic stage. And, like, he's not on any medication for that. Um, but, yeah. So, that's basically what's been going on with the biscuit. And one, another thing that I want to talk about is... This is something that I feel like this is something that I need to talk to my Yorny friends about and share with y'all. Um, because obviously y'all know I've been away from my channel, and this was some things where I struggled with, with you know wanting to come back to my channel and there's basically two two ports of it the first port was when I did my birthday bash giveaway and I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail and I'm not going to mention any names. But I did get a few comments that didn't set well with me. And... Basically... From this point forward, if a comment like that is made again, I will block the person from my channel. Which I think you still have access to watching my videos, you just can't comment. And I'm really not trying to be mean or anything, but... But I don't, like I said, I don't want to get into specifics or anything. But also, well, this is kind of something else I it, just want to kind of bring up. Y'all, most of y'all should know that with my channel, I believe in positivity and uplifting people. And likely, 
I feel, you know, I've been fortunate. I really haven't had any issues on this. But anything that's said that's not nice to another person, you know, anything that's mean-spirited, I have zero tolerance for. And... Though, you know, the, those type of comments, if they're ever made, will find a person also getting blocked. You know, you know, I just wanted to kind of put that out there. You know, I, I don't believe in, in drama being brought to my channel. You know, like, say for instance, I have a live, and maybe someone may not like a guest store or something. Again, I, I don't want to hear anything about it. I don't want anyone to not be nice to that person. And, like, if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say anything at all. Or kind of like, for instance, if you have a problem with someone else in the chat, same type thing. And, you know, and say, say like, on my life, you know, maybe if you can't, like, you know, maybe that's not the life for you to watch. You know, come back and watch, you know. Like, you know, I've done several lives, you know. And, you know, there will be lives in the future. You know. But like I said, that's something I just kind of wanted to put out there. That's something... My channel's not about that. Just like cursing and stuff. You know, don't curse in the comments. Don't, you know, or use kind of like in inappropriate type things. You know, or, or like in the chat on lives. So that's another thing. That now that I'd probably give a warning for first, but you know the the especially if you you accidentally say a curse word or something, but I I I, I don't want that type of language in the chat and comments. But anyway, and the second reason that. I, I have had thoughts about not coming back to my channel. Is, well, first off, I think I needed a break from things. But I always kind of didn't really let myself take the time off. You know, because I was always like, I have this, I need to do this, I need to do that. And... And one thing, too... Like... Some of the things that I do, like especially for my lives, take a lot of preparation. And when I got away, I, it kind of made me realize on some level that it was, it was getting to be kind of in a sense too much for me. But don't worry, uh, um, I will come back, like I, you know, 
once like all my medical stuff kind of you know so I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna st step away from my channel permanently so don't worry about that but I do think I need to kind of cut back on some stuff where I probably will only do lives once once a week in the future and then there'll still be like the collab lives that that I do where we you know alternate on each other's channels so I don't know. I, I just kind of feel like I, I needed to share that with you. And it has nothing to do with... Because I do want to help y'all when it comes to crochet and knitting. And I do want to help motivate y'all, share helpful information. And it has nothing to do with, you know... And I love, like interacting with my yorny friends and the friendships that's been made so it's kind of like that's been going on and I basically have one more topic to cover and then I think I will wrap up this video actually it's two more topics I forgot to mention about, like, y'all know how, how I tend to have back pain. Well, one of the medications I'm on, which is actually an anti-anxiety medication, it also can help, oh, sorry, it can also help with pain. And there is an aspect where on some levels my back is doing better. And I do feel like I can move around better than what I was able to. And on my, my appointment yesterday, because I was on a low dosage, my doctor decided to bump up the dosage because he wants to see if it'll help my back more. And then the final topic that I want to talk about is... You know, since I may not be around my channel much for a while, or, you know, like I said, I, I don't know when I, I'm going to do another video. You know, I, I may pop up occasionally doing another video. I do ask that, you know, please watch some of my older videos. I, I have over 800 video, I'm sorry, 850 videos on my channel. So, more than likely there's videos of mine that you haven't watched. So, so you know, please, please watch some of, you know, some of that because, you know, you, you may learn something that may help you. Or maybe like like in my crocheting or knitting videos, you may see something that I made in the past. That you're like, hmm, I want to make this. And usually, if there's a pattern for it, for it, I always do try to put the pattern links in the description box in case someone's interested in making the pattern. And. Another thing, too, if y'all can do, well, really, this helps me in general, but it's, especially since I'm not putting as much content out, if y'all can share my videos, like, you could share it, like, on your social media platforms, you know, Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter, and maybe even other social media platforms. But the, I know those are the ones that I use some. But. 
And those of y'all that have YouTube channels and that have like community pages, if y'all could sh help share some of my videos, that, you know, I would really appreciate it because one thing is, well, one, it, you know, it, it does help me with my watch hours, but like, with having my channel monetized, you know, it does help if people are watching my videos. And that type of thing. And, and one thing, too, like, like, when, just because a channel is monetized does not mean that they make a lot of money off of their channel. And, you know, I'm going to share with y'all basically how much, like, whenever I was actively filming, what I ac actually made with my channel. I usually made $100 to $150 over a two-month span. So... Like I said, I know like some people think that when a channel is monetized, they're bringing in all, all sorts of income off of it. That's not always true. And even though it's not much, it does help me. Um, because, I don't know, I, I don't really like talking about this but you know because I don't want to come off you know like a beggar or something like that but I mean me me and the biscuit you know we do struggle financially you know and like I said that little bit it, it does help You know, but anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching the video today, and I hope y'all are all having a fabulous runny day, and until next time I post a video, um, oh gee, <laughs> okay, let me store that over with. <laughs> As always, I hope y'all are y'all all have a fabulous yorny day. Be the light and bye. <laughs>